Hij wordt wel eens Darwin's Rottweiler genoemd, de taaiste verdediger van de evolutietheorie, maar vooral ook een beeldenstormende atheïst. U had al door dat ik het niet over Bart de Wever heb, maar over Richard Dawkins, een Britse bioloog die in zijn recentste boek haar fijn uitlegt waarom hij vindt dat God een illusie is. De Universiteit van Antwerpen zette hem vandaag in de bloemen met een eredoctoraat. Annelies Beck en Katrien Keunen. The religious matter is a matter of childhood indoctrination. The remedy for it is to not teach children what to think, to teach children how to think, to teach children to question, to teach children that religion exists, and to teach children the existence of lots of different religions, encourage them to make up their own mind. Don't ever tell a child, you belong to this religion. That is child abuse. Mm -hmm. Is it okay to be religious in the sense that you can gain some comfort from it? Because that's what I think is very important for lots of people. Well, anything is okay. I mean, I would hate to deprive anybody of that comfort. I just encourage people to think. Think for, mm -hmm. the, think for yourself. Richard Dawkins neemt geen blad voor de mond. De een prijst hem de hemel in, voor de ander is hij de baarlijke duivel zelf. Het is een man met een missie. If it were really true that there was a supreme being who created the universe, it would be one of the most important facts we know mm -hmm. about the universe. I think it's false, but I think it's an important question. And if it's false, it's important to show that it's false. Mm -hmm. You say it's false, yet we live in a world that's getting more and more religious, it seems. I'm not sure that's true. Um, certainly there are parts of the world which seem to be more militantly religious. But I also get the feeling that there's a great upsurge in people who realize that actually they're not religious and that they're fed up with being taken for granted as though they were. Why haven't they come out and before? I think in America it's been largely a matter of intimidation. I can't really speak for Europe. Intimidation as a hard I, word? Yes, in, in America it's quite difficult actually to get advancement in certain careers, certainly in politics, if you are not religious. Mm -hmm. And I think that's beginning to change. I'm reasonably optimistic in America and Europe. I'm pessimistic about the Islamic world. I, I regard Islam as one of the great evils in the world. And I, I fear that um, we have a very difficult struggle there. Why is it more problematic than Christianity, for instance? There's a belief that every word of the Quran is literally true and it is, um, uh, there's a kind of closed-mindedness there which is, is, I think, less present in, in the former Christendom, perhaps mm -hmm. because we've had long, I don't know quite why, but um, there's more of a historical tradition of questioning. Mm -hmm. There are people in the Islamic world who simply say Islam is right uh, and there's, there's, um, uh, we are going to impose our will. And there's, a, there's an asymmetry. I think in a way we are being too nice. I think that it's possible to be naively over-optimistic and if you reach out to people who have absolutely no, no uh, in intention of reaching back to you, uh, then you may be disillusioned. Geloof bemoeilijkt het samenleven en niet geloven is een kwestie van inzicht en kennis. Simpel. Wie intelligent is, kan niet gelovig zijn. When you say that an intelligent person believes, it often turns out if you ask them what they believe, they believe in some kind of mysterious uh, ground of the universe, something we don't understand. Well, I do too, of course. But the number of people who actually believe in uh, the in what theistic religions tell you, in miracles, for example. I don't think you're a very intelligent person if you believe, for example, that Jesus turned water into wine. I think you've got to be fairly unintelligent to believe something like that. <laughs>